I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Tusk UTV Adventure Roof Rack on your Polaris Razor XP1000. Now these roof racks, they're a great way to get some of your items out of the cab and out of the way. So if you're doing overland adventure stuff or longer day trips and you want to bring some gear with you, there's a great way to do it. You can strap the gear on top. There's plenty of tie down points up there and this thing is sturdy, it's super tough and it also looks good. So with all that being said, there's a few things you need to know. So when you go to order this, you have a few options. You can get it with a roof or even with a light bar if you want. So go check those things out. Now we do have separate how-to videos for those as well as if you have a four seater, we've got a separate video on that. So go check it out. Now, one more thing, if you already have a roof, this is gonna bolt right up to your Tusk profile or force aluminum roof or pretty much any flat aluminum roof. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. To start out, we've laid out everything in order and you wanna to refer to your instructions and get familiar with the install process and also compare everything that came in your kit to the instructions, make sure everything's there. So we've gone ahead and done that. I do wanna point out this front cross member or the wider one is gonna be in the front and then the thinner ones are gonna to go towards the back. You've got your side rails, your back plate and front plate. These are your optional light bar mounts. They come in every kit. Now, again, you have the option to get the light bar with the kit or without. So if you already have a light bar, you can just use these mounts. And then with all the hardware, you're gonna be using washers for every bolt. So just be aware of that. Now to install this stuff, you're gonna need a 13 millimeter combo wrench, five millimeter Allen and a T40 Torx wrench or Torx bit. Now, optionally, if you decide to run the stock visor with your roof, then you're gonna need a 21 64th inch drill bit. Now, over at the machine, if you already have a roof mounted to it, you're gonna remove the four mounting bolts, but if you got the kit that comes with the roof, you're just gonna use the hardware that comes with your roof rack to get that installed. So, we're using a T40 in the front and a five mil in the back. Now, if you're running your stock visor, you're gonna to need to drill a hole through, there's a six millimeter hole in it. Drill that out with your 21 64th inch drill bit. But if you're not running that stock visor, you don't have to do this step. You just wanna make sure that's lined up with the hole going through the roll cage. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. With the four bolts out, we need to remove the two J nuts in the front corners. Now it's time to install the front cross member. This is the one that's twice as wide as the others. And then the two slots in the front, they're gonna be facing towards the front of the machine. Now to mount this up, we're gonna use the M8 by 55 millimeter button head bolt. You wanna put a washer on that. We're gonna go through that cross member and then the spacer is gonna go in between the cross member and the roof. Then you've got a washer underneath on that gusset inside the roll cage and then the nylock nut last. Now, all of the hardware we're installing, we're gonna leave it loose enough that we can make adjustments, and then once everything's installed, we'll go back through and tighten everything down. Now for the rear cross member, we're gonna use the 45 millimeter button head bolt, and we're gonna make sure we use a washer with that. Go through the slot in the cross member. And you've got another one inch spacer in between the roof and the cross member. And this is just gonna thread into that clamp for the roof. We'll do that on both sides. The next step is to install the side rails. So the fat part that's gonna be facing the front of the machine. We're just going through these two holes with the M eight by 20 millimeter button head bolts with washers on them. Then you've got a washer and nylock nut on the back side. And then you're gonna have one mounting location in the back, same hardware. So we'll go ahead and do that on both sides of the machine. We're just using a wrench to help set the nut and the washer in place. Now we can install the rear plate. So the front and rear plate, 
these bends in the corners, they're gonna be inside of your side rails. And then you're gonna use the M20 or the M8 by 20 millimeter button head bolts with a washer on them. Come in through the outside and we've got the nylock nuts on the inside on all four mounting holes. Now for the front plate, it's pretty much gonna be the same thing. The only difference is if you decide to use these light bar mounts, you're gonna use the M8 by 25 millimeter button head bolts instead of the M8 by 20s. Now, if you are using these, you're just gonna use the bracket that matches the bend of the front plate and the mount is gonna go in towards the center of the machine. To install the last two cross members, you're just gonna use the 20 millimeter button head bolts. We've got the washer on there. You're gonna go through the individual holes in the side rails, and then we're gonna go through the cross member and we've got the nylock nut on the back side. Now, if you are gonna mount the light bar, you're just gonna use the 16 millimeter bolts. There's no spacers or washers. Just set the light bar in place and adjust it where you want it and tighten those bolts down. Now that we have all the hardware loosely installed, you're gonna adjust your cross members side to side, get those squared up and then tighten down that hardware first. Once you have that done, you can tighten down the side rails. And that's how you install the Tusk UTV Adventure Roof Rack on your Polaris Razor XP1000. If you have any questions about the install process, leave those down in the comments below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more helpful content for your Polaris Razor, then subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of different stuff on there. And if you need to pick one of these up, maybe you're just seeing how hard the job is to do or how easy the job is to do, you can get one of these on our website. We offer free shipping on orders over $75. So go check that out. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.